All right, so okay. we're, we're going to get into a VQ mismatch. So okay. this, is, this is how I would like for you to see it. Okay, we have the long. Uh -huh. It's divided into three sections. Now, up top in the apex of the lung, we have significantly more ventilation than we do perfusion. Okay. Uh -huh. In the middle, well, they match up. So about the same in ventilation as we do perfusion. But as we get to the bottom, the base, we have significantly more perfusion uh -huh. and ventilation. Okay. So therefore, when it comes to that VQ mismatch that they always talk about, uh, they always put V, oh, there's an outside, but like this VQ, right? Now, I would like for you, I would like for you to see it this way. V over Q, over Q. Okay? okay? Now, this type of equation tends to pop up often, especially in uh, respiratory. So what I like for you to see is, look at it this way. I was just looking at it this way, X over Y is equal to one, all right? So okay. therefore, if I want to increase one, right, what do I have to do? Uh, to increase one, you can increase y, uh, no, increase x, mm -hmm. or decrease y. Or decrease y, exactly. So now, in that case, vq, let's say in the apex, we have more v than we do q. Therefore, okay. in the apex, vq should equal greater than one. one right greater than one yeah all right so therefore come back over here we know that it is greater than one if v and q are equal if they match then vq will just equal one, one. exactly and therefore that will be right here if there's one and therefore in the base since we have significantly uh well more Q, then we do V, then what would the VQ be at the base? Would be um, less than one. Less than one. Exactly. I'll put less than one. Okay. You see that? And that's your VQ mismatch. Now, what that means is that, well, what is this area called up here? Well, we have more ventilation than we do perfusion. What is that area called? Uh, the uh, apex of the lung? Uh huh. An area where you have more ventilation than you do perfusion. What is that called? More ventilation than you do perfusion. Mm -hmm. um, Basically, I just have a lot of ventilation, but there's no blood arriving. Uh, this space? Exactly. Physiologic or anatomic? Uh, physiologic. Nice. So, yes, physiologic dead space. What's the difference okay. between? Physiologic and anatomic. Um, mm. Physiologic and anatomic. I know that anatomy goes uh, from the mouth mm -hmm. to the terminal bronchioles, and okay. you don't have any um, uh, oxygen exchange. Exactly. There's no oxygen exchange because there's an anatomical blockade, right? So, actual physical wall that doesn't allow for oxygen uh, to diffuse, right? Okay. So therefore anatomic, but okay. physiologic, all that means is that this area, if it wanted to, let me see here, this area right here, if it wanted to, right, we uh -huh. could diffuse, we could diffuse if we wanted to, but normally we don't necessarily need it. Oh, so okay. therefore we have more ventilation than perfusion telling me that we have all this air, but there's no blood picking it up. So they call it wasted. See, wasted, wasted ventilation. ventilation. Yeah, meaning it's wasted. We just got a lot of air there, but for no reason. But when would we want to increase oops, the flow? When would I want to increase the flow to the apex? A good example would be exercise. And exercise. You see that? And exercise, you're trying to get as much oxygen into your lung as possible. Therefore, you must vasodilate the pulmonary capillaries to therefore reuptake uh, okay. Okay. more oxygen. 